boy, it is pouring rain at the off-grid homestead right now. It started just minutes ago, and there's standing water on the ground already. I mean, this is three minutes of rain, and it's standing water on the ground. Pouring rain out here. Look at this, you can't even see across the meadow. Of course, part of that's humidity. It was 72% humidity and uh, 87 degrees today. I have the Harbor Freight generator running and the air conditioner going. I was just going out to weed whack the garden so I can prepare it for tilling and I stepped my foot out and it started raining. So uh, I have a plan B but I don't think it's going to rain long. It looks like I don't know if it really shows in camera. It looks like it's brightening up already. So I think it's going to be a short, fast, hard rain. But I wouldn't want to be mowing or weed whacking now. Look at the water building up already. Pretty intense. So anyway, I've got a plan B project. What are the cats doing? Cats are in here ripping things to shreds, little kittens. Um, yeah, it's going to stop pretty soon. But I've got a plan B for rainy weather. I'm going to try third time uh, and not uh, stutter and walk over my own self. I um, am going to do some wiring in the bathroom, the tiny house bathroom. And let me show you some exciting and happy news over in the tiny house bathroom. This is really, really huge happy times in the tiny house on wheels in the off get homestead. Forgive the clutter, I was just doing plumbing last night, and I'll explain. Actually, I actually plan on gluing this today. I uh, now have working functioning running water with no fear in the tiny house on wheels look at that running water people running water and a functioning drain pipe in the tiny house I want to thank the person I um, didn't see all the comments by the way but I waited on my plumbing I want to thank the person that said put Teflon tape on the drain cuz it works I brush my teeth inside my tiny house today for the first time ever. So the Teflon tape wrapped around that uh, angled drain pipe there did the job. That did the job. So whoever had that advice, I want to thank you. I know there was a lot of other good advice um, ranging from take it back to all kinds of other things. Um, I have to choose what's easiest and best for me, and that sure did work. So if I didn't take your advice, forgive me. But if that was your advice, then thank you. And thank you all for being there anyway, because uh, without all of you guys helping and advising, I'd probably still be scratching my head trying to think. Actually, I probably would have used silicone, which, by the way, might not work with flexing. I was concerned about flexing motions and flexing with time or whatever would uh, probably break loose of silicone. So anyway... Running water and a functioning drain. Now I'm going to wash the sink out and clean this all up, clean off the counter. I was just going to work on the um, the cabinet door today, but now that the rain is hitting my pallet wood, I have to put that off for another time with, uh, when the wood is dry. So uh, I want to work on the lighting in my tiny house here. I want to put, I have a vanity light for here and one for here that I think will look really beautiful on the wall with uh, 12 volt wiring and um, be a really beautiful accent lighting in here so I'm probably gonna work on that this afternoon there's a turtle <laughs> I guess it's raining hard enough that a turtle finds it comfortable in my yard how crazy is that Out in front of the chicken coop well, the raccoons aren't going to be around, so this these two piles of garbage here that have been annoying me, I'm going to put away. That's where I had the raccoon traps in the uh, covered under piles of wood, scrap lumber and stuff. I am now going to take the raccoon traps out of the meadow. Well, not this minute, because we do have uh, some heavy, heavy rain. So I'm going to clear out all the raccoon traps and put them out further into the woods now, because I have a beagle which is probably going to keep the raccoons at bay. And I probably won't have any more trouble with the uh, them invading my territory here. So, 
definitely a good thing. So when this rain lets up and things are dry again and, and the ground is, is, is firmed up, I will be cleaning that area as well now. By the way, Joy is loose and she is staying home. She is free to roam and come and go as she pleases. And she is a happy, happy dog. She prances around with her tail up and bouncing around happily and she is in paradise. She's going to enjoy her last years in pure doggy heaven because she has chipmunks and squirrels and uh, raccoons to chase and scents of deer to follow and she is really loving it. But she has accepted me and this is her home and uh, she's staying here. So that's a very good thing. No more chain. She's been free since yesterday afternoon or yesterday morning. She was free all day and free all night. I took a risk. I was really concerned, but I prayed about it, and I let her loose, and she stayed here. So uh, I think she's going to be all right. Uh, she's going to be a good dog here for the off-grid homestead. Sure enough, ten minutes later, all is gone, and the puddles of water are drying up. The ground needed it desperately. It was a desperately needed uh, storm, and... Desperately needed temperature change. It was 87 degrees and 72%. Oh wow, it's 87, 89% humidity out. Of course, it just rained. So I just turned off the air conditioner because it dropped. The temperature dropped super fast. In like 15 minutes of a thunderstorm, the temperature dropped rapidly. So it's 72 out and 76 in. So I just opened up the windows and I'm going to go shut off the generator and save some power. That's a massive temperature drop. Really, really good for saving energy here at the off-grid homestead. Of course, with the uh, well, the rain, I have less solar. But, yeah, you got pros and cons, I guess. But anyway, I'm uh, going to continue on working in the tiny house. Well, the rain stopped, the temperature went up, and the humidity went up. So I'm sweating, sitting still, so I fired up the generator again and got the air conditioner going. And, uh, little guys want detention so I'll show you what I'm doing over here I'm in the tiny house bathroom doing electrical wiring on a rainy day um, it's not gonna stop raining for a while I guess so anyway I'm running the wires and I had intentionally left the extra unused strands here the green and white now if you remember most of you probably won't by this time the red and black go down to the fan of the composting toilet which I will then run along here under a piece of trim work and then down and around and somehow hide all along this wall all the way to the bottom so this is going to be a bit of a, a nightmare to hook up the framing around here but I'll figure it out and hopefully make it look pretty so I'm going to take the other strands the unused strands and run them back over to the corner and up along the wall in here and over to the wall here by the door of the bathroom and then run a strand over to where the uh, vanity lights are going to be so hopefully I'll get that done here soon but it takes time running wires and we'll see how much I get done okay I've run the wire I have to still mount this wire over to the fan and I ran the wire back over to here can I focus okay I split it off right here at the corner and then right in across through the house over to here by the bathroom door and then down and so far I have it hooked up I have the positive hooked up to a switch here okay and then I ran a positive wire over and I've connected it to the light fixture for now because I just want to see if I can get it to turn on and I got a ground wire going up all the way into the upstairs to the bedroom to the main line coming into the house which I am now going to fuse and tap in and then hopefully here I should have power uh, when all that is done I'm going to fuse it upstairs make sure that's in an off position yes so let's take you upstairs maybe you can watch me up there a bit oh, I've been working all day without the camera but it's been uh, tight quarters downstairs so sorry about that Right now I'm hooking the fan back up. It goes into the bathroom over there.
I've got the plus and minus. I've got the common ground in the fuse box temporarily mounted up here in the wall. And then I've got the plus and minus for downstairs for the light. Common ground here is all going in a box that I'm going to build. So now the fan should actually be running at this moment. No, it won't. Ha! I need a fuse. <laughs> Nothing's going to run without a fuse. So, I'm going to put the plus on for the lights downstairs, the bathroom lights. Just, just a crimp on connector for the positive to the lights. Now that I've got that fuse on there, or fuse box box. I had to go to AutoZone to get this. Uh, sorry, I gotta block your view a minute. Make sure it's in there. I had to go to AutoZone. It's the only place I could find this. Nobody else had them. My common ground. And then I pop some fuses in, and I should have power down in the bathroom. So the first thing I'm going to do is put in a fuse for the toilet fan, the composting toilet fan. That's the Airhead composting toilet I've been using. By the way, I need to do an update review on that soon. I'll tell you what I think about it. It's been a while. So, I'm going to go down and put a fuse in there. Okay, I've jumped into here to the main hot wires and I've gone up with a common ground from the uh, black wire and from the red I came up with a common positive to here, both of which I'm going to replace with thicker wires later. Because this is a six fuse distribution block which is going to go to the uh, bedroom and the bathroom. Now I do have the kitchen wire comes up here as well from the overhead lighting so I'm going to have to extend the wires and bring it up into here before I'm done. But I put in the two fuses for the one for the fan and one for the uh, bathroom light. So let's go down and have a look at the light. Look at that. Already you can see a huge, huge difference in the brightness in this place. That's one LED light bulb in the, uh, well, that was the first time a kitten's ever followed me this far into the house. So um, I've got the one LED, uh, the fixtures is hanging on my towel rack for now because I still have to mount it here and to do that I'm going to have to build an adapter plate because it's got this rod that sticks through, this decorative rod sticks through and goes deep into the wall too far for usefulness for me. So I've got definitely a lot of light in here from one light bulb and it's not even mounted on the wall. Once I get that properly mounted it's really going to add some light in this place. Look at how bright that is. That's just one LED. That's uh, three watts of light, three watt LED light. And it's really, really bright. So when I get the two, it's going to be um, very good in here, I think. Very good. That's about right where it's going to be, centered around that towel rack, one on either side. Um, I have to check with the door. I'm probably going to have to move it in farther, actually. I'll have to see, yeah, because the door is going to hit it. But I'm going to have to experiment with that. But um, there's going to be two lights in here, one on either side. And uh, that's it. There it is. I have light. So let me hang that back up again. I'm hoping I can fit it in with the door. So I've got the light switch here. Darkness, light. And now, of course, they each have one here, so I can turn one off individually if I ever want to. But I wanted the main switch here which is going to go right here on a wall. 
I've got uh, two light switches. You might remember Goliath Man gave me some lights, some LED lights, which I'm going to put around the bathroom uh, medicine cabinet. So I'm going to have the main switch for here, and then the switch for the vanity lights, and then a uh, AC power switch right there. So, well, I've got to go help some friends get their marriage license uh, squared away. So well, that's it for today. Troy from the Do It Yourself World and the Off Grid Project, signing out.